Existence resembles a texture, like elastic, like a trampoline net. Turn this trampoline net into a pretzel and permit yourself to go in reverse in time. Have you at any point scrutinized what's really out there in the universe? What marvelous secrets the universe may be hiding from us? Well, you're in for a right. We have a disclosure so monster, changing all that we thought we knew about the universe. Support yourself as the eminent American. Physicist Mito Kaku divulges a disclosure that is downright progressive, uncovered by, as a matter of fact, the amazing James Webb Space Telescope, which may have demonstrated that time doesn't exist. Prepared to jump into a space-time enigma that will turn your reality potential gain? The James Webb Space Telescope is basically the Hubble Space Telescope's greater, cooler kin sent off on Christmas Day, 2021. This telescope has taken up home in space, enlightening mysteries from the universe's haziest and most far-off corners. It resembles the ultimate time machine equipped with super strong infrared instruments that make it ideal for peeping into the past. How, you ask? Well, it's exceptional. Resolution and responsiveness permit it to detect amazingly old and weak objects that even Hubble couldn't. Impression, we're discussing far-off worlds and divine bodies from the early universe, those subtle details that have been playing a legendary, enormous game of hide and seek with us. Basically, James Webb is making a difference, helping us piece together the universe's fantastic starry jigsaw puzzle one infrared picture at a time. You're at an art gallery walking around. Fantastic pictures captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, otherwise known as JWST. The imagery is stunning with far-off universes sparkling across the vast material. Yet, among the stargazers and cosmologists, you see shock and mistrust. There's a sense of strife as though they're staring at a Picasso in a room filled with pragmatists. The well-known phrase you hear is, this is startling. So what's the complaint about what's shaken the very groundwork of how they might interpret the universe? Although the official papers are quiet about it, the main problem lies with a theory they hold dear, the Big Bang Theory. This is the belief that our universe started off in a monstrous blast around 14 billion years ago and has been expanding like a giant swell since. This hypothesis has been the foundation of cosmological understanding for a long time and now the new pictures from the JWST appear to question its validity sending shockwaves through the community. You can almost hear Alison Kirkpatrick, a carefully trained astronomer from the University of Kansas, thrashing around in her bed, scrutinizing her labor of love. Why is everyone so astonished? Well, the galaxies captured by the JWST aren't acting as they should. According to the Big Bang theory, they're too small, too smooth, too old, and there are too many of them. Let's try to simplify it. If you imagine the universe as an expanding balloon, galaxies shouldn't look smaller as they move away from us. After a certain point, they should start looking larger because their light supposedly left them when they were closer. It's a strange but fundamental curve in the expanding universe idea. Yet the pictures from the JWST show galaxies that are about the same size as the ones near. It's like you're expecting your distant friends to appear as little specks, far away but instead they're right, next to you, as plain as the nose on anyone's face. Curiously, they show galaxies appearing smaller than we'd expect even those that shine, brighter and pack more mass than our own. Milky Way, these photos show galaxies that seem several times smaller than the ones seen through the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, despite their greater luminosity and mass. Furthermore, these galaxies also have significantly higher redshifts which in layman's 
Terms means they're apparently moving, away from us at faster speeds. You might think, well, that's odd. And you'd be correct, especially if you're working under the assumption that we live in an ever expanding universe. Sometime back in 2014, some scientists had proactively pointed out this anomaly. They analyzed HST images and found that galaxies with red shifts up to five seem to match what you'd expect in a non expanding normal space. It was speculated that the JWST would continue this trend and it has, even for galaxies with redshifts as high as 12. In simpler words, the JWST pictures show galaxies that seem the same size as those near us, as if the universe isn't expanding and redshift is just a function of distance. But if we still stick to the theory of the universe's origin and its expanding universe idea where Left with a rather perplexing conclusion, these distant galaxies should be incredibly small to compensate for the supposed optical illusion created by an expanding universe. It's a bit like imagining a grain of sand with the brilliance of a spotlight. Take for instance a galaxy named GHC2 that the JWST identified is far brighter than the Milky Way but is determined to only be 300 light years in radius. Compare that with the Milky Way's 50,000 light year span. Its brightness per unit area would be multiple times that of the brightest galaxy in our local universe. Not just that, its density and that of several other new galaxies would be thousands of times higher than the galaxies we see around us today. Now, when you consider these minuscule and smooth galaxies, the concept of an expanding universe and by extension the theory of how things came to be starts to crumble. And that's why these findings are causing quite a ruckus among astronomers and cosmologists. Over the years, the Hubble Space Telescope's images support the idea, but the photos suggest the presence of numerous galaxies, thick and strong, similar to powerful. Mice from old cartoons, these galaxies are a puzzling riddle for themselves and with the new James Webb Space Telescope, things have just gotten trickier. To make sense of these curiously small galaxies, scholars have advanced an idea. It's as if you're playing with a small toy car, a magical one which despite being only a centimeter long weighs as much as a real SUV. They suggest that these miniature galaxies smashed into each other over billions of years combining to form the regular galaxies we see today. It's like the toy cars colliding and growing, making an appearance to be real SUVs. However, here's the twist. The JWST has taken a close look at these galaxies and found no signs of such cosmic car crashes. You would expect these colliding galaxies to show some signs of damage, right? Maybe look a bit mangled or torn like a car after a minor collision, but that's not what we see. Instead, the JWST reveals galaxies that are smooth, pristine spirals, just like the ones we see nearby. There's an absence of cosmic bumper marks. One study appropriately named Epanic, in fact, highlights that there are ten times more of these pristine spiraling galaxies than the scholars had anticipated. This is related to finding a busy highway with speeding cars but no accidents. This is quite a serious blow for the collision hypothesis. Without signs of cosmic mergers, the idea that these little galaxies somehow stepped up into their grander counterparts falls apart. If they didn't grow in size, it means they weren't small to begin. Hence, the optical illusion we'd expect from an expanding universe doesn't seem to be there. Without this illusion, the concept of expansion loses ground. Hence, the growing unease among Big Bang enthusiasts, the presence of these small and smooth galaxies suggests that the universe may not be expanding. And if it isn't, the theory of how things came to be suffers a significant blow. 
And there's another perspective to consider, the age of stars. The theory of the universe's origin suggests that everything appeared following the Big Bang. However, if these galaxies existed before that, then it would mean the Big Bang didn't happen. This could be a game-changer for how we might interpret the universe's beginnings. Consider the James Webb Space Telescope as a time machine in the words of Makaku able to peer billions of years back into the universe capturing images that shed light on the universe's origins. This stunning device isn't snapping photographs in our familiar visual range, but instead it's focused on the infrared revealing hues of galaxies so far off we would never notice them with our unaided eye. Now here's the interesting part. These colors aren't just beautiful. They're telling the age of the stars in these galaxies. Young, red-hot stars burst a distinctive blue, while their older, cooler counterparts like our sun gleam in shades of yellow and red. By analyzing these variations, astronomers can estimate the age of the star populations in these distant galaxies, according to the theory of how things came to be, the galaxies, farthest away in the JWST pictures, represent a large snapshot from around 400 to 500 million years after the universe's birth. However, some of these galaxies seem to house stars that are more than a billion years old. Now, if you've been following the theory of how things came to be, you know that's a big problem because Nothing should be older than the Big Bang itself. Another assumption, if the theory of the early universe's origin is correct, is that as we look farther into space, which means looking further back in time, we should see increasingly fewer galaxies until we reach where there are none. Massive dark age, if you will. However, it appears to be a different story. It seems the galaxies, as massive as the Milky Way, were already quite common even a couple hundred million years after the supposed Big Bang. The new images show that there are at least ten times more galaxies than expected at high red. Shifts over ten. So the question is, how could so many large galaxies form in such a short time? The answer is, they likely couldn't simply not under the constraints of the theory of the early universe's origin and it's expanding universe idea, and that's why these discoveries are challenging the foundation of our understanding of the universe. On top of that, there's a deeper philosophical quandary, the concept of time itself. Modern physics works with the understanding that time exists an essential concept deeply embedded in how we might interpret the universe intertwined with Einstein's theories of relativity and countless scientific principles. However, what if time as we understand it doesn't actually exist? This hypothesis is revolutionary. It isn't entirely new. Some theoretical physicists have been speculating that time might not be a fundamental aspect of reality, suggesting that our perception of time could be an new property or even an illusion. The context of the universe's origins, this could mean that our understanding of existence unfolding in a sequence with a Big Bang as the starting point might be fundamentally flawed. If time doesn't exist in the way we perceive it, then the concept of a beginning like the Big Bang becomes irrelevant. This could fundamentally change how we might interpret the universe, requiring a new framework that doesn't rely on time as a fundamental component. Instead, the universe may be better understood from a perspective that views space-time as a whole without a sequential beginning or end. This worldview shift might actually explain some of the perplexing observations made by the JWST, like the presence of mature galaxies in what we thought was the early universe. The time isn't a fundamental property, then these galaxies could be older than the Big Bang without violating the laws of physics. 
essentially without the necessity of time, the universe might not have a specific beginning at all, suggesting a more complex and intertwined cosmic tapestry. In this new model, the universe could exist in a state where past, present, and future are not linear but coexist in a manner beyond our current understanding. This would have profound implications for cosmology but also for how we might interpret existence itself, potentially leading to profound discoveries about the nature of reality. The debate between the Big Bang and the steady state theories represents two fundamentally different views on the universe's nature. The Big Bang theory posits a universe with a distinct beginning and a history of continuous expansion. On the other hand, the steady state theory suggests that the universe has no beginning or end, with a constant average density and ongoing matter creation to fill in the gaps left by expansion. To summarize, the James Webb Space Telescope isn't just offering a new lens through which we can observe the universe, it's also presenting data that challenges our long-held assumptions about the universe's history. These observations could indicate that the theory of the early universe's origin, as it now stands, isn't entirely accurate. Instead, the universe may be eternal without a specific beginning or end. This doesn't necessarily mean that all our understanding is wrong, but it implies that there are deeper, more complex elements at play which we have yet to fully grasp. It's an interesting time for astronomy and cosmology as we stand on the verge of potentially momentous discoveries that could reshape how we might interpret the universe.